Unit Twenty One: Thunderstorms. Thunderstorms are one of nature's most common phenomena, events that just about everyone has experienced. Since they are also potentially one of nature's most deadly occurrences, it is a good idea to recognize the conditions that cause them to develop. For a thunderstorm to form, the atmosphere in an area must have become unstable, usually because of heat developing on the ground or because of a sudden influx of cold air. The first result of this instability is that warm air will ascend and cool air descend. As the warm air goes up, the water vapor within it condenses, and clouds begin to form. More warm air is forced upward, and the cloud formation becomes larger and larger until an enormous cumulonimbus cloud, the kind that generates a thunderstorm, is produced. Soon the rain begins. When it does, the downdrafting air that it generates mixes with the updrafting warm air. One result of the turbulence this causes is that the air within the storm, and sometimes even the air a few miles away, takes on an electric charge. Conditions are now ripe for lightning to develop. The more charged up the air, the more lightning there will be. How can you determine how close to you a flash or lightning has struck? The amount of time it takes for a thunder clap. To follow is thought to be a good indication. When you see lightning, begin counting slowly. If you can count to five before you hear thunder, the lightning probably struck about five miles away. If you can't even count to three, take cover immediately.